hello lovely families i'm glad you clicked on today's video how are you all doing today i shared one of the easiest way i make my potato fufu using mashed potato brand this is simply the best potato fufu always accept you know after a hectic day we still find ourselves in the kitchen just to make sure our families are happy and well fed so stay tuned let's get into it I've got this buttery homestyle mashed uh, potatoes. I got this from Publix. You can as well get yours at Publix, Walmart, Kroger, Sam's Club, or any local store close to you. I've got some water already in my pot set on this stove top, which I'm going to allow to come to a boil. Please, when making any African Nigerian fufu, make sure your water comes to a rolling boil. That is one of the tips of having a perfect and a cooked fufu. So this is the sachet of the mashed potato. This is how it is looking like. I'm going to be making use of two sachet. You can use more or less depending on the number of people you are making it for. I'm going to start by tearing it open just like this. Tearing it is very, very easy. I will start by adding it inside my pot one at a time. I will use a whisk to start mixing it. And please take note at this point, I've already gone ahead to reduce some boiled water or take out some boiled water out from the pot so that we'll not end up having a watery potato fufu. Okay. I'm going to go in with the second sachet at this point and continue mixing it just to get a smooth fufu. And at this point, I've gone ahead to switch to a wooden spatula just to break up any hidden lumps. My stove setting is from 1 to 10, so I reduced it to number 5 so that the heat temperature does not overshadow me at the process of stirring this fufu. Okay? So I will keep stirring it until I achieve a smooth consistency. And at this point, you need extra strength to stir this so that you will not have any lumps. And if you feel the fufu is too soft, you can add more potato flour. And if you also feel it's too hard, you can add a little bit of the reserved hot water to loosen it up. Keep stirring it for like 2 to 3 minutes to achieve a smooth fufu. <music> minutes of stirring the potato fufu so because i don't like my fufu to be too hard i'm going to go in with a little bit of the leftover or the reserved in hot water i will cover the lid and allow to simmer on a low to medium heat for like five to seven minutes just to ensure our potato fufu is well cooked <music> Seven minutes after, I'm going to give it another final stir to ensure a perfect smoothness. Just take a look at the smoothness of this potato fufu. Like, is it not giving you some vibes? Now that you know you can use mashed potato brand to make your potato fufu for your family, let me know at the comment section if you are going to try it or if you have tried it. And in case you are wondering how it tastes, it tastes just like normal potato fufu just take a look at the smoothness very smooth and very very soft i detest a lumpy fufu like i don't have the patience of enjoying my fufu i'll be using my thumb finger to press any kind of lump whatsoever if your fufu have lumps please don't bother serving it to me thank you <laughs> so at this point our potato fufu is done and dusted I went ahead and transferred it into a plastic wrap. I'm going to hold the plastic firmly just to ensure that our potato fufu is well wrapped. Wrapping your fufu in a plastic frame will also help it to keep it warm and to make it look more organized. Even your teenage kids can make this without waiting for mommy to return back from work and head over to the kitchen. All right, lovelies, here is the final outcome of our potato fufu. You can enjoy it with any delicious soup of your choice. So I paired mine with this delicious vegetable okra soup. This soup and fufu was a banger. Serve and enjoy. <music> I 
draw the curtain for today's video, I just want to clarify some curiosity from some of my non-African Nigerian subscribers always asking me how fufu tastes like. Some will be like, is fufu like a play-doh? Play-doh is different from fufu, okay? In Nigeria, we have different types of swallow. We have cassava, which is yoka. We have amala. Gare, Pandediam, Semolina. They all have different flavor and different taste, okay? It's just applicable to this potato fufu that I just finished making. The taste is different as well. So now that you know you can use mashed potato to make fufu, try it and let me know how you like it. See you on my next video. Bye!